Hello there and welcome to your gardening week. Well we're finally going to see some warmth which will certainly do our spirits good as well as the garden. Temperatures in the south are probably going to get up to around 20 Celsius over the coming week. Meanwhile in the Midlands and the north more likely the mid to high teens. So there's plenty of pruning to be getting on with over the coming week as well as soil preparation and who knows you might even get that first cut on the lawn. Meantime there are some other jobs I want to be getting on with in my garden, not least cutting back my yew hedge. Now this has been planted for a couple of years now and it's grown away really strongly but each spring I'm cutting back the strong stems so that I get lots of side growth to make a really thick dense hedge and then in a couple of years time I'll be able to clip it with shears in the summer. So going over the top of the hedge first and then the sides and clipping back all the side growth that's been made last year back by about half and that will encourage those new strong stems to come from lower down. Another really important job at this time is to deadhead the daffodils. They've done really well this year, they've been a splendid show and really cheered our spirits. But if you want a good show next year, then it's important to deadhead them. So trace up the flower stem to the top where the faded flower is attached and you'll find a small bulge. This is the seed pod that will develop over the next few weeks if you don't pinch it off. And that will waste the plant's energy. So pinch it off between your thumb and forefinger, just behind the bulge, but leave the rest of the flower stalk intact because this, along with the leaves, will help to make food for the developing bulb underground for next year's flower. And the last thing on my list of things to do is to tidy up my pots of agapanthus. Now these have died right back over the winter, but are just starting into growth now, now that the warmer weather's on its way. I'm also going to sow this lovely unusual pink nasturtium around the edge of the pot so that they trail over the sides and give me some extra colour this coming summer. These hardy seeds are really easy to sow and are bound to germinate in the next 10 to 14 days. I've pre-soaked these nasturtium seeds overnight in a jam jar of water so that they start their swelling and their germination process. Drain the seeds out of the water and then make some holes around the edge of the pot in the compost where you want to sow a couple of seeds. Cover the seeds over with a bit more compost and then top dress the whole pot with some fresh compost that will power everything into growth. So there's a quick roundup of some of the things I'm going to be getting on with this week as well as all that pruning and soil preparation. In the meantime if you want any more ideas of what to do in your garden then visit my website davidhurrian.com and don't forget, while you're here, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you get all my weekly hints and tips. 